Well, hey, y'all, and welcome to the Hillbilly Chicken Ranch. I am Susan, your hostess, and we have got some thrifty fun ahead for you. We went to our local Amish community. We stopped at a discount grocery store, and we hit up two thrift stores. So let's see what I found this week. The first thing we did was we hit a thrift, well, we hit two thrift stores. So, um... I found some baskets. These will come in handy when garden season gets here. This one was $2. And it's in really good shape. And then I found a stair basket. This is a basket that you would put on the staircase. Um, so the family members could pick up their items as they go upstairs or... You might want to carry stuff up and down the stairs that's called a stair basket. There's a couple of other names out there. I'll try to find the names and I'll put them down in the description box below the video. It's in fairly decent shape. I am going to paint it. We're going to put it out on our staircase. Our steps coming up to the house. And let me grab the rest of the items from the thrift store. We also picked up a little bag of refrigerator magnets that are hooks so that I can use it to hang things on like pot holders or whatever and it was 75 cents so that's not bad at all and I found a fireside Christmas collection book uh, this has got 120 festive projects that you can make it's written by Diane LaRose Weaver and Dawn Trusick and it's got some really interesting things inside of it. And I am going to be looking forward to going through this before the holidays and maybe making a few items that I might want to keep around our home. So the books are uh, 99 cents and it also has recipes in the back. So it was a good buy. I'm going to set that in the basket. The other thrift store we went to, that thrift store was Jesus Cares. And Jesus Cares, we were in price shock when we walked in there because usually it's one of the more inexpensive thrift stores that we go to in the area. Somebody had priced things that are brand new on the shelves, still in Walmart. $15, they were little um, oil and vinegar cruets. And... $15 for them and I'm like it's not even $15 in the store come on folks it's not an antique you are a thrift store so you need to come down off your prices and I let them know that I told them that when you raise your prices up in a thrift store and the people that are donating find out about it they stop donating to you and I said second of all the people that come shop thrift stores do not have a lot of money to spend in the first place and so you're running them off by doing that so you will put yourself out of business. We know that there was a thrift store down in Memphis that did the exact same thing years ago. Went completely out of business just within a few months. The second thrift store we went to is called Ray of Hope. And uh, a lot of times they have little bag deals. And these are chandelier crystals that need a good cleaning. But they were 99 cents. And I'm going to be making some sun catchers to put in our front window um, with these and maybe get some more colored glass pieces to add to them. Uh, these are teardrop shapes. Two different sizes there. And then they had these. And there's one red one in here. Some amber colored pieces. So these were 99 cents a bag. So that's a really good buy on these because you go to an antiques shop and you might pay $10 for one piece. So that was a really, really good buy. They also had some Christmas banner type things or buntings. Um, so they had this one that has the little Easter eggs on it. And they're made out of a thick cardstock. And then they had a Happy Easter one with the little ducks. I'm just going to pull this one out. It's got 
a flower. Oh, okay. There's this. These are separate. I thought they were bunties. It's got a flower and a couple of little Happy Easter pieces that I can put up. Let me look at the other one. Maybe I've not correct. Maybe they're not buntings. But I can make a bunting with them. The bags were 99 cents each. Yeah, they're individual. So this is a little Easter egg. Another little bunny. Another little baby chick. And another Easter egg. So I can make a bunting with these. And they'll be really cute for Easter. They don't take up a lot of space. And that's what I'm looking for. I want things that don't take up a lot of space when I'm doing the holiday decorations. Like Christmas does. Because Christmas just takes up a lot of space. Get them in the basket. I was really excited about this item. It is a Rowenta uh, Professional Lux steam iron, y'all. It's an older model. The reason the people got rid of it was because of this, but there is no damage to the cord whatsoever. Did plug it in. It works. Um, they only want it $3.99. I looked these up online, y'all. Expensive irons. Uh, very weighty. Has a lot of weight to it. Uh, a lot of the professional seamstresses will tell you that this is the one to get. Uh, it's got a nice steam plate on it. Um, and I'm looking forward to using this. $3.99. Couldn't believe it. We also went to the Elmish community. We picked up my gallon of raw cow's milk. And we picked up some more of the apple pie filling. Five or six dollars. I can't remember how much. Six dollars a quart. And I like to have these on hand because you can make cake with this or pies or the little hand pies. Really quick and easy to do. We picked up some Indian relish. My husband loves this stuff. I don't know why they call it Indian relish, but that's what they call it. And it is actually quite tasty. So we picked this up $4 a pint. And I also picked up some elderberry syrup. This is $10 a pint. And I actually missed one of my thrift store finds. We found this lovely little chalk glass jar. And they only want it 59 cents. I don't know if you can see that. There you can. 59 cents. And I'm going to use that in with my canning stuff more than likely. But... I thought that was really cute. My husband picked that up. So they did have a few items that were inexpensive. Now, the one little Amish store that we stopped at, it's an older couple, and they have a little store on their property. And she's recently started making deodorant. So she's got sample deodorants for $2. And this one is Meadow Flowers. And it's very perfumey, but the other one that I like is lavender and amber that they have, and it lasts. It works really wonderfully. I can use it under my arms and other places that might be smelly, and it stays on for over 24 hours. There's no aluminum in it. It's a great product. So, am I going to buy it from them in the future? Absolutely. Now, their um, big deodorants are $12 a piece, and they're actually bigger than the ones you get in the store, so we're definitely going to be buying these. And we picked up this little broom. It is a keychain. They made it into a keychain. Uh, they have broom makers, but I want this to dust small areas or when I'm doing craft stuff and I'm having to get stuff off the table. This is the perfect size for that. So that's going to go in my craft supplies. And this one actually had the colored broom corn on it. So I'm really excited about that as well. And it might have been made for my child. Um, 
sometimes they teach children with smaller pieces so this might have been a child that was putting this together and I am just thrilled to have that I might pick some of these up for a giveaway let me know in comments what you think about that they were five dollars a piece now we're going to get to the discount grocery store that we found and it's located in Selmer Tennessee I was really excited to go there we had we hit up one not maybe a year ago and did not like like it because everything in there was expired I mean way expired but these were not expired or uh, not that far out of date so what did we get the first item I picked up was a bag of Bob's Red Mill Coarse Grind Cornmeal. Uh, this one is expires uh, July of 2024. Of course, it's going to go directly into a glass jar with an oxygen absorber, and it will be shelf-stable for a long time. They want it $1.49. Y'all, this stuff is selling for about $10 a bag now if you go to retail stores, retail groceries. So, $1.49 for that. Really, really good buy. We picked up six cans of this El Pato um, Salsa de Tomate con Jalapenos. Okay, so this is El Pato Tomato Sauce with Jalapenos. It's a seven and three quarter ounce can, and they were... 29 cents a piece, so we got six of those. There's two and four more make six. So we, we picked up six cans of those to put on a pantry shelf. The reason we bought these, we read the ingredients. Tomato puree, water, jalapeno, onion, garlic, salt, and spices. That's all that's in this. Excuse me, I got an itchy nose. Uh, so clean ingredients that's what we're looking for and i hope that y'all are reading labels as well i need to pull back the bob's red mill cornmeal and ingredients whole whole grain corn clean ingredients you want the clean ingredients you don't want all the other additives that they put in your food we picked up six bonnie mammon uh, cherry preserves. I couldn't believe that they had these. Six, six of these. So I got my jars for 99 cents each, but they're filled jars, so I can put them on my pantry shelf. No problem. Uh, again, the ingredients are clean. Uh, cherry, sugar, brown cane sugar, concentrated lemon juice, fruit pectin, fruit pectin. And it tells you where it it comes from it comes from France um, and it's gluten-free and these are 13 ounce jars so I got six of these so there's two and four more and again 99 cents couldn't believe my eyes when I saw that. They actually had quite a bit of this on the shelf. I wish I had picked up more of them because I love these jars to begin with. But I am super thrilled to have some cherry preserves on my pantry shelf as well. I like a little bit of variety. I don't know about y'all, but I like a little bit of variety. So, we also picked up, um, this is a chili uh, pequin. It's a spicy chili salt uh, used for Mexican fruit salad. So we picked that up. It was also 99 cents. Ingredients. Red hot chili peppers and salt. Right there on the label. Unbelievable. Fresh, clean ingredients. We also picked up some Thai Kitchen Red Curry Paste. We've never used this, but we're going to try it out. Um, 
it was also 99 cents ingredients spices including red chili pepper garlic lemongrass salt shallot coriander root and macaroon lime peel so i mean simple ingredients that's what you're looking for in the grocery stores folks read your labels I picked up some Twinings Earl Grey Black Tea. This is the decaffeinated. Decaffeinated. <coughs> Again, 99 cents. So the ingredients on this is decaffeinated black tea, natural flavors, bergamot peel. So I love Earl Grey tea, so I'm glad I'm going to have that on my shelf. And I have to go with decaffeinated anything these days. And then I picked up Newman's Own Organics Turmeric Ginger Herbal Tea, caffeine free. And this box has 20 tea bags. Both of them have 20 tea bags. 99 cents each. Ingredients organic turmeric organic ginger organic licorice organic orange peel organic orange oil organic black pepper there's the ingredients right there folks 99 cents a box great great buys i was super super excited my husband was too we were pleased with this place we picked up two of these coleman's mustard they're in little tins they were 99 cents each. Ingredients, mustard flour. Right there on the label, mustard flour. Simple ingredients. Now, my Goya, I know, normally has stuff in it that you don't want to have. Uh, this is adobo without the pepper and it was two dollars and 49 cents the ingredients are salt garlic uh a anti-caking agent black pepper oregano and turmeric so it was mostly good wholesome ingredients except for the anti-caking thing but I like the adobo, so I use it. Then we got a uh, two-ounce bottle of pure lemon extract for $1.99. Don't have to read the ingredients, but it contains 80% alcohol and uh, water and oil of lemon. $1.99, folks. Can't get this in the store for those prices. This one is Slap Yo Mama. I've heard a lot about this seasoning. It's a Cajun seasoning. Wanted to try it out. Um, ingredients. Salt, black pepper, red pepper, granulated garlic. We paid $1.49 for this. And this is the original blend. And it's got a nice little recipe on the back. And it's eight ounces, so it's very good buy for that. I picked up some Wicker's Mesquite Marinade and Baste. Um, I like putting this with my beans when I can them. Uh, some kind of mesquite flavor to kind of add to the to the flavor of your beans. This has ingredients: vinegar, water, salt, spices, mesquite flavoring. And it was $2.99 for a 24-ounce bottle. Really great buy on that one as well. A couple more items and we'll be done. This is Sandwich Pal Sweet and Spicy Mustard. Picked up two of these. They're 16 ounces each. Paid $0.89. Cents. The ingredients are distilled vinegar, number one mustard seed, sugar, salt, turmeric, paprika, and spices. 
and I was almost out of mustard on my shelves. I was, I had picked up the little cans because you can make your own mustard. Um, so I'm going to put that away. I'm actually going to take them out of the tins and I'm going to put them in a jar, but I'm going to save my tins because I'm going to use those as a decoration. I thought they were cute. So really, really good buys on that. They had three packs of peel and stick labels. These are 99 cents, and each pack has six three and a half by two and seven eight labels, six two and a half round labels, nine one and seven eight round labels, one by two six labels, uh, three labels that are three and a half by one and three quarter, three labels that are three and a half by two and three eighths. Um, three quarter inch round labels are 15 of them. One and three quarter inch round labels are six, six. And then we had three, uh, I'm sorry, six, three inch by one and a half inch label in each package. And these are put out by DMC Enterprises Incorporated. We paid 99 cents a package, y'all. And it was $31 and change for all of the food items that we got at the discount grocery. And we came out with several bags, and I told my husband, how long has it been since we could go in the grocery store and pick up three or four bags of little plastic bags of groceries and walk out only spending $32, $33? It's been forever, folks. So we're really, really thrilled to have these products to add to our pantry. And I'm also glad about the labels because I'm always looking for labels. They had other items in there. They had uh, little stuffed animals for children starting at $4. They had some decor decorative items. They had health and beauty. They had cleaning products. So they had a nice array and it was a small store. So I think we did really, really well in that store. Let me know in comments what you think about this haul today, this grocery haul uh, and thrift store haul and our Amish haul that we got today. And uh, y'all go out and find some thrifty fun this week. May you be fully blessed.